Hi everyone, this is Erin. I'm here to review with you Chapter 6 from Digital Habitats. It's on Community Orientations. Communities have different styles and Chapter 6 talks about nine orientations or styles. I'm going to show you a slide on each one of them. Okay, if the focus of your community is on having meetings, you want to address activities like having regular well-attended meetings or um, receiving feedback and how are you going to make your decisions at your meetings. And so the book, the chapter, gives examples of tools if your focus on your community is mostly having meetings. Another orientation is, do you want to encourage or focus on open-ended conversations in your community? If that's your main focus, activities that you have to consider are, um, do you want one topic or multiple concurrent topics of conversation? Some of the tools you might need to use are web-based discussion boards, and even um, a tool to handle frequently asked questions. Orientation three for your community is projects. Do you want to create content together? Do you want to co-author and provide instruction? If so, the tools that you would need are uh, a change tracking system. Uh, or a task tracking system, along, as, along with timelines, scheduling tools, and a calendar, and screen sharing capability. That's the third focus of a community. The fourth would be content focused. And the reason I was interested in this chapter is because I'm interested in developing a chemistry community. I teach high school chemistry. And so the activities that I have to consider are what are the popular discussion topics? How will the topics be organized? How will I archive and allow commenting in my community? And so the tools I'll need are a file sharing tool, screencasting capability, a rating system, and possibly access to search engines. The fifth orientation, we're going to call Ask an Expert or Access to an expert, Expertise. Um, you're going to need a question and answering system. You're going to um, address need to address polls and video feedback, as well as member directories. That's the fifth orientation. The sixth orientation is, is the focus of your community relationship building. In that case, you need to discuss networking, um, knowledge of the individuals in the group community, and you need some tools to handle profiles, photos, favorites, as well as um, friend feeds. The seventh orientation or focus of your community would be individual participation. Do you want to encourage and track individual participation? If so, do you want to um, allow the participant to customize, uh, to do customizable activities? Do you want to um, create subscriptions? If so, the tools you might need are filters, profiles, and preferences. Orientation eight is the focus of community cultivation. You'll want to address how you're going to create announcements, how you're going to receive input and provide feedback, and how you are going to maintain good housekeeping in your community. Some of the suggested tools are newsletters, calendars, and even an idea of having a member of the month um, tool. Orientation nine is, is the focus of your community one of serving a context? If so, you need to create a public face. You need to probably recruit, have a help desk. You need to manage, be able to manage security. Some of the tools you'll need are 
um, a way to have searchable web pages, you'll need a community portal, and you'll definitely need password protection. These are the nine communities. Now, of course, every community is not purely one type. And so I found this cool activity online. It's called a spidergram activity. And this example is for bird watchers of Central Park. And what it is, is you, you put a dot on whether this is important to you. Is meetings, having meetings, important to you or not very important to you? And so I've included on the last slide um, a chance to actually um, create one of your own, a blank template. And again, the idea is when you're planning um, or creating your community, your online community, you need to think about these nine styles. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Have a good day.